The issue of quality assurance in a blended learning context actually raises a number of wider questions. The fundamental question to resolve is does blended learning require a new, separate or fully embedded process of quality assurance? The answer to this question is both philosophical as well as quite practical and very much depends on your existing QA processes, your institutional culture and your wider vision for higher education in the digital era. In my own university, for example, we very much regard blended learning as the new normal. Therefore, we've made a decision quite early on an institutional-wide commitment to infusing new digital technologies throughout the learning experience that separate QA processes would be counterproductive to achieving our wider vision. Indeed, there would even be a danger that new QA processes and measures driven by a central requirement might support a culture of compliance and risk aversion. Importantly, from a quality enhancement perspective, we want our teachers to experiment, try things differently, and even have the courage to fail rather than just follow a safe path to merely replace one old technology with a new one with little transformative impact. On the other hand, if your institution has chosen to single out blended education through a specific strategy, with perhaps new funding to support initiatives and a number of key performance indicators to monitor progress at each level, then QA takes on a very different flavour. This example illustrates once again how your institutional context plays an important role in the decisions you make and the opportunities available to you. While there is no one right answer to the challenge of quality, I would argue your end goal should be the development of a quality culture rather than a culture of compliance where ownership and responsibility for quality is distributed across the institution. <laughs>